Uh, the lawyer. The lawyer. Well, according to Tor 47, uh, the law school that I'm in right now, love is actually it's peripheral. Equal. It's anyway, go ahead. Because she's an attorney. Well, I was going to say that women love more, but I was. After Myron, you just worded it saying, who cares more? And I think this whole entire night we've been talking about how men are the leaders and men are the ones that take care of and provide and this and that. So shouldn't men love more? I'm just. Because I know no. you guys, I know, no. Oh, let me ask you, That's let me ask you a okay. question. If men are, if men are putting their ass on the line and they're going to protect us and they're going to be like, if it's a dangerous situation or you're going to, you know, put the family first and stuff, shouldn't you guys love more? If we're the opportunists. Already doing everything. Exactly. All right. Look. <laughs> So if women, if women are opportunists and men are idealists, then men technically love more. No, I, I disagree with that because you're even a guy that doesn't know you, that doesn't have any type of allegiance to you, will still still show you some level of chivalry or damn near being a simp without you doing anything for it. So Loving that's the simping. man that's gonna put me and my family first? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that since we, okay, let me ask you this. Who appreciates being simped on more, men or women? women. I men. think men. That is such a freaking good question, yeah. by the way. Because, and, and I'm going somewhere with that. If you get something all the time, it has no value, okay? The reason why the woman needs to care more is because we're already operating from a deficit as a man. You're already getting simps hitting you up. You're already getting, you know, opportunities. You're already getting guys willing to spend money on you, protect and provide for you love. for nothing more. Hold on. But the, the point is, is that women don't appreciate chivalry anymore, which is why I said chivalry is dead. So to overcorrect for this crazy discrepancy in 2023, the woman must care more about the man because, quite frankly, I hate to say it like this, women are terrible people when they have leverage. They don't appreciate things because they're given everything for simply existing, and I don't blame you guys for it. If I was 18 years old, having bad chicks willing to fly me out to L.A. to hang out with them or being invited on yacht rides or being invited to Dubai, whatever, for nothing more than the fact that I have a penis, I'd be a piece of shit too. But since I understand this, I know that men, right, need to be in a position where the girl likes him more to overcorrect for all the things that men have, uh, the, for all the discrepancies I just mentioned, the, the, the severe deficit in the dating marketplace. Because you get all the things I mentioned just now for free. So women don't appreciate simps, but men do. That's why. You're gonna get good treatment if you simp on your man. But he's not gonna get good treatment if he simps on you. Right. Right. Oh. Let, let me, let me just, if, if I can, just give a quick, very tangible example. Um, all three of us had to put in years of work, thousands of video, millions of dollars we've all made, just for the chance for the three of us to be on this stage hosting a show and being special guests. What have you guys done to be on the show? Message what have you guys, Yeah, all we had to do is to get you amazing girls on the show was say, hey, we're doing a show. Uh, we need a bunch of girls. We got 50 women to say yes, and we picked 20 of you. And thank you guys for being here. But the qualifications and the standards to get on this Lower. fucking stage are very, oh. very high if, if you're the dude, and not very so high low. if you're the female. I'm sorry to say. Well, well, I, no one wants to admit this, but in 2023, women live life on easy mode because women are able to simultaneously double dip and act like a lady and get certain privileges, be treated like a lady, while also being able to be in their masculine and chase a career, etc. And, and I'll take it a step further. If they do decide to chase that career, a masculine one at that, they have an inherent advantage. You know, I saw that interview that you had with those two FBI agents. This is true. If you work in a masculine dominant field, women are promoted at a higher level, especially yep. in male dominated fields. Like we have affirmative action here and women have all the same rights and privileges that men do while having female privileges that men will never enjoy. So the reality is life is easier for women in 2023. If there's a reason why a woman can make a million dollars on OnlyFans, and there's 1.47 million women. Because men give it to them. Because men give it to them. You guys don't, don't get to do that. You guys had to work very hard to get where you are. So we're not equal. She had something in the back. Sorry. Yeah. It, Thank you. Someone no. was trying to say something in the back. I, 
Yeah, I just think, you, like you say, well, women don't have to do anything to get this opportunity to be on this stage, but I think it's because you successful men are giving us those opportunities. You men are sexualizing us, and want the, you want us in the clubs, you want us at your table, you want us here, so we're here. So. That's the point. Awesome, That's and thank saying. you for being here. And, and exactly. here's the thing, we're not, we're not insulting you for taking the opportunity, I'm simply acknowledging that the opportunity exists. Right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And by the way, how many female podcasts do you see three females and 30 dudes up on stage being Real like, quick. yeah, I'm out here, just a dude, looking <laughs> to have an opportunity. Yo, it, you don't see it. Start that Here's out. the thing, too. I Adam, I don't know if you noticed it, right? Because yeah. what she just said was, you're, the men are the ones inviting us and giving us these, these opportunities, etc. I always say on the show, privilege is invisible to those that have it. She Probably said that, that knowing, oh, right? Like, she didn't, it didn't even come to her mind that I'm getting these privileges because I'm a woman. She went ahead and said it anyway. It, it actually made your argument weaker. Uh, but women don't see it because privilege is invisible to them because it's so common. This is why I tell y'all, women live life on easy mode. So the only thing that they're going to respect is when they actually have to work for something. And that needs to be your validation, your attention, and your time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're kind of using us as decoration, you know? Decoration. <laughs> It's like a that still, that still does more not an opportunity hold for on, you, on, too, you know? Not really. I didn't know there would be this many women, and I didn't, wouldn't have enough time to, like, That proves my, my point, mind. that there's many of you, but one of me. Right. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, oh, the things that make a woman attractive are extremely common. But maybe a, maybe a woman that had a podcast would choose the same amount of men oh, so that you men hear something could, funny? could speak that. just I've as deep much dived as on this. women. All the top podcasts, male-dominated. Yeah, I'm not saying that women are doing more podcasts. No, but I'm just saying, and, and here's the thing, when women do have podcasts, I mean, what, so, I can think of Harley, like one successful one, one, they might bring a guy on here and there, but yeah. they're not bringing random guys. The guys have to have status to be able to come on. Yeah. 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 But so yeah. what's your point? Free advice for the ladies out there. Just start a podcast, start, start a podcast, and invite a bunch of random dudes on, and see how many dudes just show up to your podcast. You should start it. Right. Again, yeah, well, okay. Um, it's, it's I mean, how that now. works out for you. <laughs> I'm getting a red pill right now. Yeah. Like, the girls are saying things that quite literally prove what we're saying that women have privilege yeah. and they don't even realize that what you're saying is privileged. You're saying, yeah. well, we're here for decoration. Yeah, yes. Literally, yeah. In other words, you don't have to bring value to be here. Yo, yeah. do well, you know? Yeah, I mean, a privilege. Like, for real. Am, I, am I the only person that sees this? Now, now what I will like, say, yo, yo, yo. what, what yo. I will say is, is this, is that when you show up, mm -hmm. As quote unquote decoration, how you handle yourself is is a very true testament to what you like. For instance, Janelle's had some amazing answers. Melina, very opinionated. I don't know how the audience feels about uh, Melina, but she, the girl in the blue, amazing answers. This girl over here, like how you handle yourself accordingly. Like will dictate your value beyond just being eye candy. Yeah. Too much is yeah. given, much is required. So, and if I so feel like a decoration, real quick, real quick. Either. What's your name? Lewis, I guarantee you, right, if you had a chance to sit right here, would you? See, he wants to sit here, but he's not here. Why? He's not a woman. So for you, you should be glad to be here. Right. Opportunity. That's I it. Yeah, so does it happen. We all know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, men have to work far harder to get certain things that women get for free. That's just the reality. Women don't get boats and put a bunch of 18-year-old dudes on there. <laughs> men work really hard for 18 years to be able to purchase the boat so that the 18-year-old girls want to come, the 19-year-old girls want to come, etc. the 21-year-olds, whatever it is, right? Men have to bring value to get attention or even be seen by women, but women don't have to bring value on the other end. And here's the other thing, too. There's a saying. I, someone here could probably help me with this one in Spanish. The quieter you are, the more beautiful you are, right? Because, oh, somebody got it? Angie got it. Angie got it. Angie, say it really loud for the audience. There you go. Now they're going to be quiet after that. Claro. <laughs> but the, the thing up, is, <laughs> this guy fucking clout. But the thing is, right, why is it that that's a universal saying in all the different Latin countries? Why is it that, you know, men like quiet women, right? We've been saying that for years, whatever. Because women aren't valued on their opinions, unfortunately. No, it's because you can't take pushback. Oh, bro. Because he doesn't like the pushback. Why is Steven not out here? This. Because you don't no. like the pushback. It's it's not about. No, it's let not me. About that. <laughs> hey. I don't think she can you. cook. I don't we think she can cook. We have to work hard to get the teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all because that, buddy. <laughs> 
I'm not co-signing on that thing. You guys love the young ones to try to trap them. The thing you don't understand is that pushing back is an inherently masculine trait, which is cool if you want to make money and be assertive and be dominant. But most guys aren't gay, so they don't want to date themselves. They want the opposites. What would you would you like it if I showed up on Saturdays and wore heels? Sure, why not? Oh That's because God. she pegged their husband. That answers but itself. Okay, women, so okay we have one girl. Listen, 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 Ma listen. Uh, we have one girl that wants to make an opinion. Point, Adam. Melina, yes. you've spoken more than any girl on the stage by fucking I've been far. I've quiet for se like an okay. hour here. And because that's why everyone's having a great time. <laughs> Make your point. Make your point. Go ahead. So the heels thing, you were trying to respond to that. I said, would you want a guy that would, like, if I... She said yes. Push back in heels is the same thing, is it? I don't think that's what it is. If I say that I want someone to push me, like, in conversation, to push me as a person or challenge me, that's different from, like, someone showing up in heels. Well, here's the thing. If you have to push your man... You lost. No. It's not a man. Because, because you can help each other out. That's clearly something oh that, of course you can. No. Of course when, you can. If a girl has to push her man, see, the thing with men is mm -hmm. that it needs to be inherent in you to want to work hard. You need to be self-driven. That's your job as the man. Yeah. Okay? If my girl needs to push me to become better, right. then why I'm just that a bitch. Bad, why is that a bad you can only thing? push him like, for you don't so need, long. I'm not saying that you need to be a complete mess that can't do anything, but like some sort of motivation you from time to time. Heels. Are you gonna what push is him actually for the wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, right? no. This is, this like is my point. I want someone to push me. I use that I analogy. Let me, let me explain what I mean by that. I use that analogy of heels. It flew right over your head. <laughs> the reason why I asked you that question is would you accept me if I wore heels? If you're, you're, you're saying yes to be funny. You would not accept a feminine man, so why should I accept a masculine woman that wants to push back on me? I think that you can be. Very good point. I think you admitting that you're wrong and stepping down and trying to learn from your mistakes is a feminine trait because you need to be submissive into form to like keep going. Because you're stepping what? down. You're admitting to being a failure Why? because you can move on. I don't right? think she That's understands a because That's a feminine I mean, trait. Be honest, I would she say. pegs her husband. I would absolutely call it that way. And and having someone and having someone <laughs> tell you that you're wrong Why are you is going to, to motivate you to women, the truth. Bro? Like calm right. down, put yeah, your dick gonna, away. Okay. Right. Listen, guys, hold on. guys, I would love to do this Melina <laughs> thing for another ten hours. hours. You, we have to wrap up in fifteen minutes. Arguing a bad we have to wrap up in fifteen minutes, and I want to get one more thing, and I want to sure. get some super.